The people who inspire us make us who we are. For Chinese President Xi Jinping, the legend of one national hero would leave a mark on his life forever. Yue Fei, a household name in China, was an outstanding military leader of the Song Dynasty and a renowned military strategist and national hero in Chinese history. During the late Northern Song Dynasty, 960 to 1127, the Jurchen tribe rose up to establish a state of Jin and invaded the Northern Song territory. In 1122, the young and promising Yue Fei had been in the army for less than a year and had made some remarkable achievements. Later, he returned to his hometown to observe a period of mourning after his father's death. In 1126, the Xin soldiers invaded the Northern Song territory once again and took over its capital. They captured Emperor Qin Zong and his father, the retired Emperor Kui Zong, in what is known as the Xin Kong Incident. The people of the Northern Song suffered a lot from captivity, massacre, and forced flight. People across the country rose up to fight against the Xin army. Yue Fei, who had finished the period of mourning at home after his father's death, was eager to return to the front line. Father, the Jin army is killing our people and causing chaos in our country. All the brief men have joined the army. I'm young and skilled. I should be fighting for my country, but my mother is old now, and I'm worried that if I go, no one will be here to protect her during the chaos of war. I don't know what to do. My son. Mother. Why are you here? It seems that there is a lot on your mind. You have fulfilled your duty to your family after your father's death. Now our country is at war. What is your plan? Mother, I'm a highly skilled soldier and I want to return to the front line to fight for my country. I'm so glad that you plan to do this. So, are you worried that no one will look after me if you go? Is that what's troubling you? How did you know? My dear, you don't have to be with me every day to show your love for me. If the enemies can't be defeated and we lose our country, then there won't be a home for us anyway. It's hard to balance loyalty to one's country and one's duties at home. But defeating the Jin army will be the best way to show your love for your family. Mother, you are absolutely right. I will do whatever it takes to rid our country of the enemy. Life is full of ups and downs. But no matter what stage you are at, you need to remember what I told you today. I want to tattoo serve the country with total loyalty on your back so you will remember it forever. I shall remember your teachings forever. Please tattoo it on my back now. My dear, it will be very painful. Are you scared? Mother, I'm about to go to the war and fight our enemies. There's no pain that I cannot bear. Good son. Our ancestors will be proud of you. As long as you remember that it is loyalty to one's country that makes a true man. I will have no regrets even if I die. I will remember. We only have a home when we have a country. Show your love to your family by showing your loyalty to your country. UFA left home and returned to the battlefield. He was an outstanding soldier who defeated many enemies. At the time, the Jin army had crossed the Yangtze River. UFA led the army and people of the Southern Song to fight back. Thanks to his exceptional courage and wisdom, UFA became a prominent general during the war against the Jin army. They pushed back the enemy to the north and reclaimed lots of lost territory.
Even though Grefe was later framed by a treacherous minister, he still stayed loyal to his country until his death. My wrath bristles through my helmet. The rain stops as I stand by the rail. I look up towards the sky and let loose a passionate roar. At the age of 30, my deeds are nothing but dust. I have traveled night and day for thousands of miles. So, do not sit by idly, for young men will grow old in regret. The humiliation of the Jinkang incident still lingers. When will the pain of the Emperor's subjects ever end? Let us ride our chariots through the Hurlan Pass! Yuefei was loyal to his country all his life. His spirit lives on to inspire new generations of Chinese people.